Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3, The Hybrid Baby Challenge. I'm Landros, and of course, um, everybody's asleep, everything is just fine. Uh, except for Arthur. Poor Arthur. Let's see what he's... Ah, uh, buddy. You're just tired. That's all it is. Alright, let me let them sleep. I'll be back in a minute when they're actually able to get up and do something, because right now, all the babies seem to be okay for right now. Um, Aiden's fine, but Aiden, when do you age up again? Okay, three more days. I need to get a portrait of Aiden before he ages up after the child status. Um, I don't have to do anything with the sculpture, so I just have to actually get the portrait. So Justin's going to get up and do that tomorrow. Um, I don't know what time, because really, to be honest with you, he's almost up. Let's see, what about you? Are you almost? No, you're nowhere near being up. But if he gets up, I'll get you. I'll come back in just a minute. So I'll be back in just a second. All right, well, Justin is, um, I'm actually forcing him up because Aiden's up. The main reason I'm getting him up is because we've got a baby that needs some attention. So, Justin, since you can float through the walls, oh, it's not going to matter now because everybody's going to wake up. It's just a matter of time. All right, you know what? Let Mom and Dad take care of it because there's two of them. I'm going to have you and um, Aiden go on over here. So, tell you what, go over to this side over here. Justin, you go here, and Aiden, you're going to go ahead and come on over here too when you get done. Ah, uh, don't even start. What's wrong? Ask to leave the room? Oh, okay, because you actually were floating through the walls, I bet. That's alright. And you can't use that one, so let's go ahead and go over here. And you can't use that, so you're going to go to this one. Take your shower over on this side. Mom and Dad, are you taking care of the kids? No. You're taking care of one of them. What about this one? Celeste, you got another baby over here. Where are you going? No, you're going to come over here and you're going to give her a bottle. You're going to change the diaper. Okay, go ahead and snuggle and play with her. And snuggle again. Where are you going? No, old man, you're not going to rock in the baby. No, 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 no. What's wrong with Daniel? Does he need anything else? Okay, why don't you just go ahead and let's see, let's snuggle with him. Make sure he's got food. Give him a bottle. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and play with him. Put him back in the crib. Okay, Celeste, you're doing this a little bit quicker than he is. But I'm going to go back over with Justin and them. No, you're not working out. I know you wanted to. I know you want to work out. But you're going to come over here. You're going to actually do your painting. You're going to do a portrait of Aiden. It's Chad's birthday, which means it's Daniel's birthday, which means it's Bethany's birthday. Oh my goodness, we gotta have birthday parties today. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, well, we'll get that done in just a minute. I gotta go send them out to get birthday cakes, and they gotta get presents, and we gotta get balloons. The only nice thing is we only have to do balloons for one. Alright, let's just go ahead and do that one. He does have that, ape, that evil look, doesn't he? Alright, so once he's got you done, Aiden, can you go ahead and leave? Yes, you can. Let's get you over here and have some of the food. There are some... Uh, let's see. Go get the lemon pancakes. I think they'll be good. And then once you get over there, you ought to go ahead and take a shower. Since you can't take a shower in any of them. That's alright. Okay, Arthur, you got to go to work. Head on out. Make some money. Celeste, you got the babies. Okay, you're okay. Um, somebody's going to have to come over here and take care of this shower, and it looks like it's going to fall on Celeste. I sure do hate it for her. Um, but when she gets done, I'm going to actually go over with her, and we're going to go get the stuff we need for um, the birthday. There's not much that we have to get. We've got to get a gift, which is going to be ducks. we got to get the birthday cakes, and we got to get balloons. So... Go get the shower taken care of, and then I'll send you to the grocery store. Grocery store is down here. Couldn't be close, could it? Of course not. And then we're going to go check on Justin, make sure he's painting that picture of his brother. Because remember, you got to have a portrait of um, each one of the 100 kids at each of their different life stages, as far as toddler, child, um, teen, and young adult. And we got this toddler one. I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> I really don't. I got to go start building the museum or build something for them because we need to have it. Okay, that's what was broken. It's the computer. I uh, don't think you can actually fix that. And, of course, we got babies that are needing people. They need help. Um, Aiden, I'm going with you just to make sure. Celeste, don't bother with the store. Don't bother. Go take care of your kids. Come over here and just stand in this room. See, go stand in that room and take care of them. 
I got to go with Aiden because he'll skip school again. And that boy is not allowed to do that. Not two days in a row. <laughs> get down here and go. And as soon as you get this done, we are going to go ahead and we will get those. We'll get the gifts. Maybe I should send Arthur on his way home from work. Uh, uh, the kids will age up at a certain time. It doesn't really matter. We don't actually have to blow out the candles. You just have to have the birthday cake there. So where's this bus at? Really? <laughs> You're going to go all the way over here? Man, That's they make those kids walk. Justin didn't have to walk that far. Aiden, this is what you get. This is punishment for skipping school. And I'm going with you just to make sure you get there. Um, you do need to meet new friends. I don't know why you actually left school yesterday, except for the fact that maybe you're just evil. But I'm hoping you'll actually stay. I think you will. Is winter over? Yeah, winter's done. When does the snow actually go away? All right, well, we did... Um, did we do date night this week? Yeah, we did date night because he didn't have anything before. So we've got to go ahead and... See, are you taking care of the kids? No. Wait, I didn't see him go in the building. Did you see him go in the building? Because I sure didn't see it. Alright. Now he's in. Okay, as long as he's in the, in the building, we're good. Okay, Celeste. We can't hire ba babysitters. We have to do this on our own. You know, she's okay. You've got her in your arms. She just needs energy. Why don't we go ahead and put her back in the crib? Let's just go ahead and put her in the crib. And then let's just work on the first one that's up here. He's hungry and needs some social. So let's just do that real quick. Go ahead and feed him. Uh, let's see. Snuggle. Play with. And change his diaper just for the fun of it. I'm sure this one needs exactly the same thing. So we're going to go ahead. Oh, change the dirty diaper. I'm wondering if... Yeah, he's hungry too. Nope, that's the wrong one. He's not really that hungry. Okay, so we'll just make sure we change the dirty diaper. Um, I'm going to feed him just because. And if we overfeed him, we just overfeed him. Go ahead and snuggle. Go ahead and play. And then you should be good. Now, I don't want to actually send her to the grocery store because she'll take the baby with her. And that's the last thing I want her to do. Although it might help. I mean, you'd have her mouth there and you could take care of his needs. Making coffee. All right, go read the coffee book. Um, as long as the jelly beans don't kill you before you get it done. Fortunately, tomorrow everybody can sleep in. It's a festival day. Of course, you know, with these little kids, no, nobody can sleep in, really. Is she pregnant yet? Um, yes, she is. She is pregnant. So that's maybe re the reason she couldn't use that styling station. Because apparently it's not broken, but I forgot that she was pregnant with the next child. So my fault. Big time. All right, Bethany, you're actually not going to bother us at all, so you're fine. Um, I don't know when we're going to get to go sculpt the suspect. I don't even know when we're going to get to sculpt the next um, one at our house, but we'll get there eventually. Put him in the crib. All right, so he should be fine. You can go ahead now and go to the grocery store and buy all the presents and buy everything for the kids. Shop for groceries. Okay, I'm going to go back and see Justin. Poor guy, he's hungry. Justin, uh, you can stop for a minute. Because you got it actually started, so it doesn't really matter if you finish it anytime soon. Um, let's go ahead and get you to come over here and eat. Eat the veggie rolls, which are probably bad. What's wrong with Chad? Ay, ay, ay. Alright, so when you get done with that, you got a baby that's going to scream at us. Celeste, I told you to go. So I'm trying to get you out of the door before it's too late. He's going to come over and take care of the baby. All right, so she's going. All right. Arthur, I didn't tell you what to do. Um, business as usual is fine with me. I hope you don't have a child in your hands. I saw all three of them over here, so we're fine. All right, Justin, how much more? Did, you haven't eaten yet? Man, it takes you too long to get anything done. That's all right. Please tell me they're decent. Not getting a good vibe of this. Well, let's see. Very nice. You gotta be careful because they do change. Once you set them down on the table, it's like they change their quality really quickly. Alright, if he can get this done, he can go use the bathroom on the other side. That would be fine. Um, goodness. <laughs> you guys are gonna drive me nuts. Alright, so we'll get you taken care of. Um, let's see. I got him set up to do what he needs. Let's go ahead and go to the bathroom. And energy wise, you are kind of tired. 
I can let you at least take um well you know you can go to sleep I it might not be a bad idea to have somebody awake um, at all times so I'm leaving them because I wanted to get out of the house too all right so she's here uh, you don't really need an umbrella to walk that far <laughs> she's just insane uh, well this many kids would drive you nuts so go in here get this done let's see what we can buy um, like I said all I really need are the the three ducks and I need the um, what should we call it okay the three ducks and the birthday cakes did I go past them no of course not I can get him a wedding cake. No, we want one, two, three. Can't believe you gotta buy three of them. And you gotta buy three of those. Okay, balloons we have to get out of decor and entertainment. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those real quick, which is gonna throw us back home. Um, going into decor. And where's entertainment? Isn't it entertainment? Or miscellaneous, maybe. I don't remember. I did this last time. I did. It took me forever to find it, but I found them. Um, mm, I swear. <laughs> I will find them eventually. Ah. Uh, okay. I gotta write this down wherever it is and just remember it because it takes me forever to look for them. And they may or may not be in here. I don't know. Give me just a second. I'll be right back once I find them. Alright, sorry. I knew it was entertainment something. Um, I was going under the other one. It's the entertainment party. So here we go. We can get the New Year's balloons or just get the party balloons. And we're going to go with just the party ones. And let's just put them out here. Let's see. Do I care if they're black and white? Not really, to be perfectly honest with you. But let's go ahead and just color them just to make sure because, you know, let's see. Um, let's see. Let's make one of them a green color. Let's make the other one. Let's see. I'm going to go purple. And then this one right here, we can make that one kind of a... Now I want a little bit more that stands out. Okay, kind of a yellowish color. Alright, so that's something a little bit different. Alright, I'm trying to make them different each time, but after 100 babies, uh, do you think it's really going to be that much different? I don't think so. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the balloons out. Um, I'm not going to put them by the table because they won't be able to sit. So I'm going to move that one. And my thing is, I think you should have, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this. You should have one set of balloons for each child. So I think that's enough. And then this right here, can I delete that? No. <laughs> it's going to be just too easy. But we can take it to the kitchen. And um, somebody can actually take care of it. If I put it on the table, somebody will fix it. All right, we're going back to live mode. Let me go ahead and see, now that we're at the house, Justin, are you taking care of the kid? Yes, you are. And you're a good guy. So you get the baby taken care of. The other ones are fine. Celeste, when you get home, you are hungry. Oh, let's see, are you on your way? No. Um, what I'd like for you to do is go ahead and check the mail. Make sure we don't have any bills to pay. Nope, no bills to pay. You can go ahead and get the gifts. And are the birthday cakes in your inventory? I certainly hope they are. Because if they aren't, we're in trouble. Um, now, here's the bad thing three tables, I mean three cakes and where in the world are they all going to go? Oh, you can't do it until she gets on the lot. So, I don't really know what I can do. Um, I don't have any other shelves in here. Uh, it's going to be tough. So, I'm just going to have to take one out at a time. That's going to be a pain because they're going to want to try to eat the cake each single each time we actually do the birthday. Alright, is she on the lot? No. I'm waiting and I'm watching Justin. I know he's over there. He should be going and taking his nap pretty soon. What did you break? Uh, it's all right. You can break whatever you want to break. Okay, so Justin, let me go check on you real quick, buddy. Mm, okay, you clogged it up. That's fine. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give the birthday presents to the kids. Each one of them gets a a little rubber duck. Oh wait, birthday time or special gifts time. Let's see what we got. Cause I know you guys got some for them. All right, seven deadly sims. They're coming. So those perfect genetics. All right, from Casplays, it says, Hey, Landros, here's a gift for Celeste, future mother of 100, from Dante, father of 38. Hope it helps. Wow, 38. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> okay, we got 2,000 simoleons. Thank you so much, because we definitely needed it. And uh, another eight hours. Yeah, I've only got, what, four? <laughs> I'm nowhere near that 38. Don't even get me started on 100. Okay, the rest of these are not coming up for a while. Let's see, Roxy's not coming. 
Okay, from high school grad one, I hope this is something good from my sim to yours. So thank you very much for whatever it is. And it happens to be a desk, a chair, a shelf, and a um, recycle or hamper. Very good. Thank you so much for all four of those gifts. Okay, from Ali2573, it says, thanks for, um, thank you for making amazing LPs. Thank you for saying that. They are my favorite. This is for the Hybrid Baby Challenge. Hope this helps. Well, thank you so much. Uh, it's really nice of the compliment. I appreciate it. We got the sketchbook and the street art kit. Um, from BO4, hey, I tried so many times to work with you, and we got to Simport a couple of times. That was great. So the message from the game, thank you so much for this. And I know I did see for Tristan's. We got the uh, Rudyard coffee table. Okay, from Tristan717, or no, Tristan1717, 1717, for any LP, love them. All right, thank you so much. Um, we got the foosball and the soccer ball. Those are two that I really love. From Dorkly Bits, I love that name. Uh, we're getting, that was the message from the game, we're getting a mirror. Okay, from Bexy08, sending luxuries and hopes they can be sold for mega simoleons. Yeah, you and me both. I hope they can. Uh, 25, 25 simoleons. Can't really sell them, so <laughs> that's all right, though. Okay, um, from Bexy08, hope this is worth a mother load. You and me both. But, you know, it's a kicky bag and it's a soccer ball. I like those just as much, so that's good. Okay, Bexy08 says, big bucks, big bucks, no whammies. What do we got? Um, we got another whiteboard. So, all right. The rest of these gifts are for other people, and I can't give them out yet. So, except for this one, Bexy08. It says, hope this package um, ups your funds. Yeah, me, you and me both. Yay, I love it. Two things I like. We got the, um, the bonfire and the juice kegger. So, thank you very much for that. All right, we are done with gifts. All right, Celeste, let me go ahead and take these ducks out. Let's see, I'm going to give one to each kid. That way they will have them in their inventory. You know, you can't really give them a gift like you would um, at a birthday party, but that's all right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to age up children. I am not even going to wait. I don't care who's home. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You don't actually have to throw a party. You just have to have their own little private birthday party. For this one, it doesn't matter. Let's just go in order alphabetically. We're going to start with Bethany. And Justin, why don't you go ahead and get on up and come on over, and that way you can be a part of it. Um, let's see, I think, the, Aiden, you better be at school. Yeah, you're at school. You're going to be coming home in just a minute. Arthur, you're on your way home, so we'll get you to come right over here, too, so you won't actually truly miss the party. You're worn out. You're beat. And I'll get you on the massage table in just a minute. Now, I could do the whole dragons with them because I never put dragons on the restricted list. And um, so it's something I've, I've kind of been toying with. Do I want to do that or do I not? It would make things a little bit easier because it is going to be quite a challenge. Um, you know, we can still do the potions, and if they have the invigorating elixirs, we can take those. I mean, all that kind of stuff is legal. So the dragons, really, they don't do much more besides, of course, raising gardening and athletic and logic. But um, I don't know. I'm, I'm just kind of debating on whether I want to do that or not. I haven't decided fully yet, but we will make a decision. All right, now it looks like Bethany is not too happy. What's wrong with her? She's hungry. Well, girl, you're about to have cake. <laughs> you're not, but everybody else is. All right, you guys come on over. Justin, where'd you go? Get back over here. Get back over here. Yeah, she's crying, but that's all right. So as soon as you can finish up, you're going to go ahead and give her a bottle. All right. Actually, you're going to have to set her down first, aren't you? Yeah, so you can't give her a bottle. All right, Justin, participate. <laughs> go ahead. You come on over here, Aiden, and you participate as well. I don't think he signed up for an after-school activity, did he? Uh, I think he did. I'll have to go and double-check the school and make sure. If he didn't, then we're in trouble because we're supposed to do that. Uh, as long as you get it done, you doesn't have to earn this. He doesn't have to do it much with it. But all right, so here I thought everybody's gonna miss the party, but every actually everybody made the party, so that's fine. All right, finish up. Come on and age up, Bethany. Let's take a look at you. Oh, she's bald. <laughs> All right, so here we go. All right. Now, let me just stop for a minute. Uh, she is bald. I can change out her hairstyle. Look at those cross eyes. Uh, Cross-eyed little girl. All right, yeah, so I could go ahead and do that. I could change it out, but I'm not going to. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. Can I move it? Yes, I can. And I'm going to delete it just because they'll eat it and then we'll be eating it for days so I'm gonna do that Celeste hang on I got more things to do you got a, two more kids to go through man you got a lot of stuff in here alright let's take this cake out 
and now it's time for you to go out blow out candles with um, we just did Bethany it's time for Chad all right buddy now Bethany can you scoot yourself over here so you can look in the mirror and change your appearance because I really got to get you here I will never be able to tell you I'll put her down <laughs> Arthur, Arthur, put down Bethany. I will never be able to tell her from one from the other, so we got to get this done. Okay. Now, Arthur, I could actually work with you. Ah, too late now. All right, so I'm not going to do much with her. I just want to give her something so I'll know that it's a girl. And she's just got those sad little eyes. It's just really, oh. Oh, is she going to have gray hair like her dad? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> I really hope not. Oh, man, she's going to have that blonde hair. It looks, she's going to look old before her time. Well, hopefully she'll get the wish to change her hair because um, I don't actually like to do that. There's not a whole lot for the girls, but and it's kind of sad. All right, I'm going to give her this little one because it's fine. I'll definitely know that that's her, and um, she's good to go. Um, Arthur, why don't you go over here, and why don't you get a massage? from Justin see if he'll help you out he needs some energy too so you know the two of you guys can help each other out and uh, Aiden we got you pretty much doing everything you need I need to have you working on blocks and see if you got that maxed out I think you did I do need to actually have you play with your imaginary friend but it may be too late it really might be it doesn't matter because we can't use imaginary friends Arthur Leave her alone. <laughs> Leave her alone. Get over here uh, and go get this thing done. No, 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 no. You're coming over here. This is actually supposed to help you. Get a massage from Justin. Celeste, you're on your way. Finally. No, maybe, maybe not. Somebody feed the kid. Can Aiden, can you feed the kid? Yes, you can. Go feed her on the floor. We'll at least have somebody help us out. <laughs> All right. And that's probably going to interrupt their interaction here. Yes, of course it is because of the stupid birthday. Just when I got them to do this. That's all right. <laughs> that's fine. Um, I'll tell them to get started again. Yeah, you're both about to pass out. So as soon as you're done, you're going to get through that. Did you not feed the baby? No. <laughs> oh, this is not good. <laughs> We're just having a horrible time with the birthdays. That's okay. Whatever they can do is whatever they can do. Poor little baby's going nuts. Aiden, I'm going to let you get back to feeding the kid in just a minute. Alright, why don't you guys go ahead and stop. Stop the birthday. Get your massage. Justin, stop. Because Celeste can take care of the rest of this. Um, Alright, days have flown by. Are you going to feed your daughter? Yes, you are. All right. Okay, well, tell you what. Somebody's got to take care of the kid, and it looks like it's going to be Celeste. Don't... Ah, yeah, you are hungry. Okay, you can have a piece of cake. All right, that's fine. But for the rest of you guys, you're out of luck because I'm getting rid of the cake. Okay. Now, I want to actually go in here, and I want to take a look at um, Chad real quick. Chad, looks like you got mom's hair color. And looks like you're wearing blush on your cheeks. I don't know. All right, so the next baby we're going to have age up is, of course, going to be Daniel. Um, fortunately, these guys are getting their energy back, which is good. And um, Celeste, you're getting your hunger taken care of, so that's fine. Um, Daniel needs a lot of work, so before we can actually do the birthday with him, we need to actually get him taken care of. Anyway, my timer went off, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. When we come back, we're going to finish aging up the last of our three toddlers. And... Um, then we can get them started on learning what they got to learn. And I do need to make sure that Aiden has gotten all of his skills on with the blocks. I think he did. I know he got everything with the, um, the oven. So if he gets the blocks done, he is set. And we don't have to worry about uh, training him on anything else. We'll have the portrait done. I think he's finished with it, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. If I don't get the blue bar, yeah, he's finished. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.